Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss how to round off decimals. First of all, let us discuss what is rounding off decimals. Now the process of obtaining the value of a decimal correct to the required number of decimal places is called rounding off and the value obtained is called rounding off value of the decimal. Now rounding off is done with the help of following steps. First step is retain the digits up to one more than the required number of decimal places. In the second step, if the extra digit retained is 5 or more than 5, then add 1 to the digit just before it. Then in the next step, if the extra digit retained is less than 5, then leave the digit just before it as such. Then in the next step the extra digit is then omitted. Now let us see an example for this. That is Round of 34.7262 correct to two decimal places. Now for the solution, the number is given as 34.7262. Now we have to round off this number correct to two decimal places. So in the first step, we will retain three digits after the decimal point. So we will retain three digits after the decimal point. Therefore, the number will be 34.726. Now the extra digit retained is 6, which is greater than 5. So as 6 is greater than 5, therefore, we will add 1 to the second digit after the decimal point, that is 2. Therefore, the digit 
In the second place, after the decimal point, becomes 2 plus 1, which is 3. Therefore, 34.7262 is equal to 34.73, correct to two decimal places. Now let us discuss significant digits. Now the significant digits are the total number of digits present in the number except the zeros preceding the first numeral. Now let us discuss some rules to decide the number of significant digits. First is the position of decimal is not of any importance That is, all non-zero numerals in the number are significant. Now let us see an example for this. Here we have to find the number of significant digits in 4.3125. Now the position of decimal is not of any importance. That means all non-zero numerals in this number are significant. So here, this number has 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So it has 5 significant digits. And the second rule is the zeros. between numbers are counted. Now let us see one example for this. In this we have to find out number of significant digits in 5.409. Now here 0 is lying between 4 and 9. That means this 0 will be counted. So the number of significant digits in this number is 1, 2, 3 and 4. So it has 4 significant digits. Now the next rule is the zeros after the last numeral are counted. Now let us see one example for this. Here we have to find out the number of significant digits in 2.570. Now in this number, 0 is coming after the last numeral which is 7. That means this 0 will be counted. So the number of significant digits in this number is 1, 2, 3 and 4. So this number has 4 significant digits. Now the next rule is the zeros before the first numeral 
are not counted. So let us see one example for this. Here we want to find out the number of significant digits in 0 0.00. .00 Three, four. Now, these are the zeros which are before the first numeral which is 3. That means these zeros will not be counted. So for this number, the number of significant digits is 1 and 2. So it has 2 significant digits. Now in the next rule, the zeros at the end of the number are ambiguous. Now let us discuss it with the help of an example. Now, in the number 7200, now in these type of numbers, that is, in 7200, where the zeros are coming at the end of the number, it is not clear if the zeros are significant or not. Now here, the number of significant digits in this number is at least 2 but could be 3 and 4 also. So this number should be written in scientific notation. To place the significant zeros behind the decimal point. Now this number has at least two significant digits. And now we will write this number in scientific notation. So this number will be 7.2 into 10 raised to power 3. And you can see here that this number is having two significant digits. Further, this can also be written as 7.20 into 10 raised to power 3. Now this number is having 1, 2 and 3. Three significant digits. Similarly, we can write it is 7.200 into 10 raised to power 3, which has 1, 2, 3 and 4, 4 significant digits. Now the next point which we should remember is rounding off to significant digits is done in the same way as followed for the decimal places. Now let us see one example for this. In this Round off 0 0.04732 up to one significant digit. 
So it will be equal to 0 0.05 up to one significant digit. Now let us discuss calculation using significant digits. Now the number of significant digits in the result of any calculation is as large as the smallest number of significant digits in the numbers used in the calculation. Now let us see one example. In this we have to calculate 0 0.1276 plus 0 0.78521 plus 0 0.974. On adding this will be equal to 1.88681. Now you can see that in the question this number is having the smallest number of significant digits. That is, it is having three significant digits. So according to this rule, the number of significant digits in the result will also be three. So rounding off this number to three significant digits, it will be 1.89. So in this session, we have learned about rounding of decimals and significant digits. So this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.